All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Discord music bot called Alex Music. It is a music bot that has all of the features that a lot of people have become accustomed to seeing in music bots, and they also use SoundCloud, Spotify, and YouTube as their sources for playing music. They also have things like filters, standard things like being able to add songs to a queue, remove songs, and also set a DJ. So if you're interested in this bot, just pop in to the top.gg page and then click on the invite button once you're all logged in to Discord. So once it's on your server, you'll see it over here. It's got a red logo. It's called Alex Music. It's a verified bot. Then you can type in slash help because it uses slash commands. And you can get a feel for all of the different commands that it has. And like a lot of different music bots, the way that you actually get it to respond and to play music is by making sure that first you're inside of a music channel. Let me turn my volume down so I don't get my ears destroyed. And then from there, we have a couple of different options. You can grab a link directly from YouTube, Spotify, or SoundCloud. I personally just like using their in their built-in search feature to search for stuff, and I always search for NCS, which isn't going to get me dinged for copyright. And then that'll pop up the results in this little pull-down menu, and then you can select which one of these top results that you want to listen to. If you find that it's not giving you what you want, you can always type in a more specific search as if you were actually searching on YouTube. So then it'll start playing. It's reasonably snappy. Like I can show you the ping because it's got a ping command where you can see that the API latency is about 35 milliseconds. The WebSocket latency is 135. It's reasonable. I mean, this is a bot that's running on quite a few different servers at the same time. So your mileage may vary. And then after that, we've got a few other settings up here, like we can set a DJ role slash DJ role. And then we can set the DJ as the DJ role. Ah, it seems to be able to use that command. I have to vote for it on top.gg, which isn't terrible. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing the filters are the exact same way. So if you wanted to use like the pop command. But that's not bad. I mean, those filters are fun to use. And they're free, so if you just want to vote for this bot to unlock them periodically, I think that's completely reasonable. We can even see things like the stats for this bot, slash stats. So it looks like this is currently running on 1400 servers with a bunch of users. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Okay, not bad. What other stuff might be useful to do? Let's add some more songs to the queue so I can show you removing and adding stuff. So we'll just search for NCS. We'll just start adding random stuff. We'll just add things like the hamster dance. Then we can type in Q and we can see what the Q looks like. So if I want to remove something slash remove and then we can type in um, number two remove the hamster dance because that would then get me dinged for copyright because I'm pretty sure the hamster dance is owned by someone as far as like a label is concerned. But then we could also skip to the next song if we wanted to play the next song in the queue. And we could probably also go back as well. Or was that other commands for that? Oh, we'd have to do replay slash replay. But that only does the current song. So if you wanted to loop the current song, you'd have to just do that. That's not bad, though. I mean, it's it's super easy with these bots. Just research for the song you were just listening to and add it back to the queue. You can also do slash pause. And that'll pause the song currently playing. And you can click resume to resume playing. So yeah, it's, it's Alex Music. It's got all the basic commands that you would be looking for. Being able to play music to shuffle it, to add stuff to the queue, remove stuff to the queue, remove duplicates, skip to a certain point. You also have things like being able to set a DJ role, 24-7 music, 
It's got announcement settings. You can also add all of those song filters like karaoke mode, bass booster, vaporwave, pop filter. And those are available for free if you just vote for the bot. You don't actually have to pay for this. And so, yeah, I mean, it's been snappy so far. I haven't had any lag problems when I was playing around with this today. I would say you should totally check this song or this bot out. I'll put the links in the video description to go to top.gg and invite this bot for yourself. And they also, if you have any questions or you're confused about how something works, they have a support server where you can get help and you can hang out with other people and listen to music. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.